Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a dairy-free cheesecake today for those of you with milk or egg allergies and you start off just with using or choosing your biscuits. I usually use digestives and I use the digestives that are light, half fat ones because they don't have milk in. You need about half a pack. Just mash it where it is. Saves on washing up. So that's done. We're going to take some dairy free spread. You can melt it in a pan, but I'm going to melt mine in the microwave, it's just quicker. You need roughly about a tablespoonful. Melt it down. It's going to bind the base together. So I'm going to put it in the microwave. So, got the butter all nice and melted, pour it over. You just really want it to stick together. I've got clean hands. I know some people like to use a knife, but I'm going to mix, press it down, make a nice base with my hands. So that's the base into the fridge now for half an hour. Now we're going to make the cheesecakey bit. My whizzer, my hand blender, and the little goblet that comes with it. I don't really do measurements, but you need a pack of silken tofu. And I would use all of it, so you've got a nice um, thick base of the cheesecakey bit. And it goes, it's a bit liquid, so I'll just pour that away. Right, tofu, icing sugar, you can use any sort of sugar. About three tablespoons, maybe two to start off with, just to see how sweet it gets, but the tofu is not very sweet, so there we go. And a little bit of Alpro soya single cream, or any cream, or you could use soya milk, but this is, tastes really good, I think. Um, maple syrup, this is just because everyone in our family loves maple syrup, but again, just a little bit, because it just sort of takes the dry taste out of the uh, tofu and vanilla, vanilla essence, a couple of drops of that. You can always add to it, as taste in this is the key to what it's going to be like in the end. Right, I'm going to blend it now till it's smoothed down a bit and then I'm going to taste it. that's all nicely mixed now the consistency is quite good it's not too sloppy if you do make it too sloppy you can always put it on your base and bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes on a very low temperature about gas mark 3 and that'll give you a baked cheesecake so it'll taste a little bit different but not much so and there we are we're gonna put this on top of our base. There we are, our base. Just pour it on. There we go, smooth it out. Okay. Jobs are good and there's your base, there's your cheesecake, back in the fridge for an hour, maybe a bit more to firm up. Okay, it's been in the fridge for about an hour and a half now, so we'll take it out and have a look. It should be set. And then you can decorate it with whatever you want. You can use fruit compote, you can use fresh fruit, uh, tin fruit, whatever you like to put on top. You could even melt some chocolate and put that on top of a chocolate cheesecake. 
Um, whatever you fancy putting on top. There's your dairy-free cheesecake all made. I'll get it out now. There we are. Set and lovely.